Hi, Jane White here with Purple Martin View. I love Purple Martins, so that's no secret. They're my favorite bird. I've tried for years to get them. Finally, last year, I got them to come to my site. What I really struggled with the most was the tree swallows. Every year I would get what I thought were Purple Martins, but they were tree swallows actually. And they would take over my houses. I just couldn't deal with them. They kept the Martins away. I didn't know what to do. So I finally have discovered what to do about them. And I'm gonna share that with you right now. So first I'm gonna show you my houses and what would happen attached to it. I don't know if you can see the birds flying around up in the sky up here. Uh, those are tree swallows. Let's see if I can get them on the camera. They're tree swallows. And um, what used to happen is the tree swallows would take over my sight. Boy, it's a beautiful day here. Okay. I think maybe you can see them. Here comes one. There we go. You can see? See them land on the house? Yep. And what would happen is they would keep the purple martins away. And trying to deal with this was a big, huge problem. Now he's coming back and you're going to see what he's going to do. I put a little house for him down there. There's a little house on the dock and he'll go to that little house. There he goes. There he goes. Going in. Hopefully you can see it down there. It's right on the end of the dock. He's in there now. sitting on the edge of it. Now, that's where he'll end up going. He's got a mate and they've been circling around, figuring it out. But as soon as he figures out that that's where they want a nest and starts making a nest, that's when I want to open up my purple martin houses. <clears throat> because otherwise these tree swallows will keep them away. I'm gonna to walk toward it and see if I can show it to you a little better. So it's actually right on the water here. I mean, I just put it right on the edge of my dock. They used it last year. Come out of there. There. There's another one. They'll fight over that house. The tree swallows will take turns fighting over that house. And then one pair of them will use it. And what they'll do is they'll patrol the whole area, keeping other tree swallows away. And they'll let the martins come up to the house up here and use it, and to my other house and use it, and we'll have a great year. I just find this so fascinating. Now, you don't want to have it too close. I've noticed I've got probably about 10, 20, about, you know, 25 feet away from my house. You don't put it right on the house pole. Oh, there we're going in. Uh, you don't want to put it right on the house pole. This is how I keep the tree swallows away. Oh, I think there are two of them now. So that's good news. Pretty soon I'll get the purple martin house open. Now the martins have been coming and they sit outside on the house. Because they're last year's martins, they know that this is gonna be their site. And so I've actually opened up one of the houses for them. Just one little spot. Now the swallows will look in it, but won't go in it. Because the martins will come back and kick them out. Once you get martins, that really helps. And here's hoping that you have a wonderful Purple Martin view.